Hello everyone, it's Claudette and I'm back with another first look video for the month of May. Uh, we have three new stamp sets coming out on the 15th of this month and um, we have two red rubber and one photopolymer clear stamp and um, these are four by six and this is a three by four stamp set. Um, if you don't, if you're new to the greeting farm and don't know much about this, the company, uh, we specialize in red rubber and we are slowly adding in some clear stamps. Uh, you, they do come uncut, so you have to cut them yourself and they're really easy to cut. So, um, this first stamp set is called OA Let's Grill. OA stands for Oliver and Amelia. Amelia. And we have one, two, three, four sentiments and then two character stamps. This one says Sending Sunny Smiles. I love summer. Let's get together and let's grill. What I love about this stamp set is obviously it's perfect for summer, but it's also perfect for your barbecue invitations or your um, pool parties. I'm going to have this summer a uh, movie night in my backyard. Um, I bought one of those big screen projectors and... Um, um, projector. My Actually, my brother got me a projector. And so we're going to have a huge movie night in my backyard and my neighbors and friends will be coming for that. And I think I'm going to make my invitation using this because we will also be serving food as well. Um, so this is perfect for, you know, summer cars, invitations, summer layouts, your project life. Um, there's so many things you could use with this stamp set. And, um, yeah, and I, I think I'm also going to do um, favors using this. Like, this would be perfect for those, you know, gummy hamburgers. So I think I'll put her on the little box with these on it. And inside the box, I'll put the gummy hamburgers in there. So um, definitely try and uh, use your stamps to its fullest. Think outside of the box. That's what I love about um, this craft. You have such a wild imagination that you can use it for so many different things. You could also, when you stamp this, you, or this whole stamp image, you could not stamp this part and put a cake in it or cut cakes. Um, whatever, you know, you could put on there and, and use it for what, um, other than what it's intended. And I say this all the time in our videos. Um, there's so many possibilities to use stamps, um, and that's the beauty of crafting. So the next one is Anya Shops. This is the grown-up version of Anya, which I love. Um, so you have one character stamp. You have one, two, three, four, five sentiments. So it says, indulge a little. I had to get you this. Shopping will make it better. It's more fun with you. Just shop. Perfect for gift cards. Um, perfect for... Um, Obviously birthdays and, you know, just giving presents. You could put all these sentiments, you know, on your card. And um, I definitely am going to make gift cards um, with using these sentiments and, you know, obviously a card. And this doesn't also have to be, you know, just for birthdays. It could be for a bunch of different things. Um, I could see putting her with an Eiffel Tower in the background. Because um, when I think of Paris, I think of, you know, fashion and shopping. So yeah, this is also a 4x6 red rubber. And then the last stamp set is our clear, the one and only clear being released. And um, you have three sentiments, wake up and enjoy today, perk up, let's catch up. And then you have, you know, like a little frappuccino and a coffee cup. So I think whenever they put little happy faces, it just makes it even more cute don't you think and um don't limit yourself on it just being coffee this you know starbucks serves their hot tea in these cups and uh, their iced tea in these or you could get a cream based frappuccino uh, so it's not just for coffee lovers but this set for me will be perfect for all my gift cards that i give out during christmas time um with uh Starbucks gift cards. So I'm definitely going to use this and those the set that came out last month of the um, the minis. Um, they're, you know, they'll go, the stamps work perfectly um, well together. So 
and then you get, uh, or uh, there's a coordinating die cut that I sold separately. And if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know I hate cutting, fussy cutting now. I've become lazy ever since die cuts have been coming out, and the Silhouette, and the Cami um, Cricut. So this is a lifesaver. If you haven't tried die cuts, you should definitely try. Start small, start with this stamp set. Um, they're perfect for um, mass producing, especially. Okay, so these are the three stamp sets that are being released, or that have been released on May 15. This, I know this video comes, I believe, a day, a week or a day after. Um, and um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, head on over to thegreetingfarm.com and purchase one or all of these stamp sets. Hey guys, um, so I wanted to add on these. I got these um, after my first video, so I'm adding this video in. Um, back in April, we had another release of these cute little um, ponies, uh, unicorns, um, I believe at the end of April. Um, and I wanted to do a little first look at these as well. Um, this one is called Hello Unicorn. And it says, hello my friend, you get a balloon and you get a unicorn. You can make the, uh, if you haven't noticed, you can make the unicorn hold the balloon. And I um, thought that was really cute. So they, the Greeting Farm also came out with um, coordinating dies that you could buy separately. And this one comes with the unicorn and the balloon. And then you have Magical Day. You have Hope Your Day is Magical. You got some hearts, some octagon shapes, little star movement thing. I'm not sure what this is really called. Another unicorn. And the coordinating die um, is just the unicorn. And then we have this one, Your Wings. Got that super cute. I love this one because it looks like it's flying. And then you have Show Your Wings and Fly, a little cloud, and a little bird. And the coordinating die has that, the bird, and the cloud. And I love using these. Um, it makes my life so much easier and faster. I want to do a demonstration on the balloon because the balloon, um, the string is super thin. I wanted to show you how I do it. Hopefully I could get this done in one shot. So what I do is I cut out my balloons before stamping. Now normally I would stamp my image first and then place the die on it. Um, but because the string part is super thin, I decided that cutting it would be the best. You could eyeball it, but um, if I do it on the video, my head will be in the way. You guys won't be able to see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do, and if you have this tool, or if you don't, I do highly recommend this. This is called the stamp -a jig And um, you could get this at any craft store. So it comes with these two. This, I don't know what this is. It's thick. And you want to make sure you stamp on the rough side and not the clear side. Okay, the rough side, because if you stamp on the clear side, it when you um, wipe off the ink it doesn't come off and so make sure you do the rough side so I'm gonna stamp on this foam mat and so what I'm gonna do is do that so you want to line this corner with the, this corner okay so you line that up and you want to go ahead and ink your stamp. You're going to have to get a really good impression since you're only doing it on here. And then you line it up on the corner and press down. Okay? So you can see how we've stamped. Can you see it? Oh well, but we've stamped it. And then what you do is you take your 
cut out and you line it up to the Im to the cut out with the image. So once you get that, you put the corner to the corner again and you do that. Remove that, ink up your stamp. And then you take the corner of the acrylics block and then you put it on the corner again and then you just go straight down and there you go you got it perfectly lined oh, up for you if you guys have any questions regarding this um, definitely and I'm back with a first look video um, this one is for the new mini stamp sets, uh, photopolymer stamp sets, and um, I think they are absolutely adorable. Um, what I like about these is you can pair these small ones up with the big ones, like this one, and you can make a family with these stamp sets, you know, like here's the mom and here's the dad, and here's the kids, and then you have the even smaller ones, which can be the babies. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool that you could do that. Um, we were so excited when we found out Marie, the owner and artist of the Grading Farm, was coming out with these stamp sets. Um, you could use them in planners. You could add more of these um, characters on one card, an A2 card, um, opposed to when you were using the bigger ones. You could only put a couple. Um, unless you mask them, but um, it's so much easier with the small ones. You could do tons of things with these. Um, I see people, uh, you could make these small ones into the paper clips, you know, um, cut these out with their matching dies, and then um, putting them on the tip of the paper clip and um, using that as your uh, cute little paper clip holder for your planner or for whatever you want to use it for. Um, what I like about them being small is coloring is not going to be as intense as coloring with the bigger ones because the bigger ones have more surface to color opposed to these ones you can color really quickly with these tiny ones because their spaces are so small and you don't have to do um, fancy coloring when it comes to a smaller space um, and I have not had as much time as I would like to actually do nice Copic coloring so um, for me because time is not on my side it's easier to just quickly color something without having to shade and and whatnot you could shade a little but you don't have to get as uh, fancy or technical as you would with a bigger image that shows more of the surface and so that's what I love about having a smaller stamp set um, or the smaller Ian's and Anya's so let me quickly go through these three I'm not quite sure when these are being released I know that there was a pre-order for them so if you guys pre-ordered them you should be getting them soon or you probably got them before this video came out um, for those who weren't so lucky to pre-order or didn't get a chance to pre-order um, I uh, hopefully Marie is going to come out um, start selling these in the store um, and see how well they do um, anyhow let's get through the these um, stamp sets so um, you can quickly go over to the store as soon as I'm done. This first stamp set is called Mini Rem uh, Remix Happy. And um, I believe her thought process is she took some older Anyas and recreated them. but So it has the same hair but different outfits. Or they're doing different things that they were in the original Anyas. Um, so yeah, you've got six, uh, four Anyas. On this particular set, you got a cat, a dog, one, two, three, four, five sayings, and then a little flower. And so you have what's up, good time, love it, just a note, and have a happy day. I love how she mixes the type with the script, just like that. So this is how this stamp set looks. Then you have the coordinating dies that are sold separately. I'm not quite sure how much this is going to be, but how quick can you do a card now with it? Coloring is less time. Cutting out is less time. I, I can't imagine how much faster it would be for me to make a card now. Um, I also love to paper piece, so I could. what I love about clear stamps is you could see where your 
stamping your image to get it exactly where you want with paper piecing. Um, so, you know, let's say there's um, a particular image or pattern you want for her dress, you can see exactly where you're going to stamp. So that's one of the reasons why I love clear stamps. And I love the fact that um, storing them is uh, less bulky as the red rubber. I still love the Greeting Farms red rubber, but um, I love photopolymer stamps as well. Um, so the next one is called Mini Remix Brutiful. So you get You Are Bu Brutiful. I'm having a hard time saying that, sorry. Instant Smile in a Cup. Enjoy want to grab some and so you got this Ian with a coffee cup you got uh, this Anya so this is obviously geared towards coffee lovers but let me tell you for those who aren't coffee lovers like I am um, I love to drink tea this would be perfect for a tea um, card this I drink frappuccinos but they're more cream based um, you could have this as the iced tea that they serve um, at Starbucks and um, so you can make it not a coffee coffee themed stamp set and this I was looking at earlier these are coffee beans but I'm gonna make them into macaroons so I'm gonna color them in pastel colors to go with my theme like if I'm gonna have a, a tea party I would probably use her and then put macaroons on a plate, you know, draw a little plate and put these on it and uh, make invites with them. Or when I give Starbucks gift cards, I have friends that don't drink coffee. I could put this on it with macaroons, you know, same concept um, on a little gift card. These will fit perfectly on a gift card envelope. Um, so yeah, there's just so many possibilities. Don't limit yourself just because it it, it seems like it's geared towards one theme. You can make it whatever you want. This can be hot cocoa. This can be hot cocoa. I mean, Starbucks says hot, sells hot cocoa, and you could put it in there as well as tea. They don't limit yourself. Think outside the box when you get a stamp, so you could um, stretch your stamps further than what they were intended for. Um, and then once again, these come with. Um, they don't come with, but they have coordinating dies as well. And um, yeah, that's the things you can do with stamps that have theme and you don't think you can use them. Like I said, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I can find so many ways to use this stamp set. Um, and then this last stamp set is um, you have six mini Anyas. Look how cute they are. They are tiny. I mean, like I said earlier, you can make them into little families. Um, either these can be the parents, these can be the child, or you can use the regular size um, characters. And this can be the mom, and this could be the kid. Right? I mean, how cute are these? And these can be the babies. Um, so there are so many possibilities to these um, stamp, new stamp sets. This one's called Mega Mini Amazing. And you have, like I said, you have six flower um, stars. Keep going try again, you did it, be fearless, work hard, well done, stay positive, almost there, happy time, an arrow, and you, you're amazing. So all of these stamp sets have matching dies, die cuts, so um, yeah, these will make your life so much easier in the sense of you could color quick, you could cut them out because they have matching dies, you don't need to fussy cut, um, not just that, but um, really you can stamp all these images out, cut them, and have a whole stack of them so the next time you're ready to um, make another card, you have all you have to do is color it in and slap it on a card or whatever project you're making. So, And um, for those wondering about the dies, all you have to do is um, bend it backwards and forward, uh, just bend it like this to... Um, Take them apart. Hopefully this video was informative for you. I'm having a hard time with this one. But that's really all you have to do. And then just use some um, pliers to cut these out. All right. And then just cut these so you wouldn't um, hurt yourself. And that's it. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.